Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootsteps2peace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. This week, I'm going to use the spirit animal cards and see what spirit animal is for you. And Virgos, you got the number 35, Koala Spirit. It says, Spirit has a plan. Let's go ahead and read that. It's the number 35. 35. 35 breaks down into an 8. Funny enough that uh, it, the full moon that we have right now in Libra is an 8 degree full moon and 8 degrees is ruled by Saturn. So that means rules, laws, restriction, responsibility and knowing that whatever is meant to be will ne you know, never, you know, it will always find you. Excuse me. In nature, the koala moves slowly through the branches of the eucalyptus tree, leisurely chewing the leaves, reminding us that life is not a race or a competition. Chasing around after every distraction can keep us from recognizing that we have all we need and that spirit will always be there with gifts to sustain us. You are being asked to trust that by moving slowly with faith in the abundance, that is everywhere surrendering to a power greater than yourself you will be able to experience the manifestation of your desire as you take your time enjoying the riches available to you right now sitting peacefully you begin to radiate the joy and abundance you seek spirit has helped you to discover happiness pleasure and contentment all gifts that are yours now and in the future have faith and trust in spirit's plan for you and know that you are loved and cherished virgo you guys work your asses off i know for a fact because i'm six placements virgo and i know how hard i work you know virgos you guys have really you know been the leaders of you know trying to help people when it comes to everything that's been going on shining lights for others your service to humanity and now you guys have saturn in your sixth house so you guys are really busting ass you know it's like what is it uh busting ass and taking names or whatever is what i'm hearing something like that um spirit please show me for the virgo for this week um, also, you guys, just so you know, my channel is going to be a year old this week on April Fool's Day. Joke's on me. I didn't think it would stick. Um, and now I have, what, close to 500 videos. Uh, I never thought I would ever get to this place, and I couldn't have done it without all of you guys. So I do want to say thank you for being here. I love each and every one of you. I love doing what I do, um, and I am just grateful. I am absolutely grateful. Anyway, Spirit, please show me for the Virgo. Spirit, please show me Virgo. Virgo, Queen of Cups. So this is you showing up in, your, in the reading as the Queen of Cups. This is you, um, you know, very psychic, very, you know, loving, giving, um, you know, but make sure other people don't try to take advantage of that, okay? Try and, you know, stay grounded and loving, but also uh, just be mindful. I don't know why. Yep, there it is. I knew I was feeling something was coming, and there's the devil card. So your challenge is the devil. So your challenge could also just be a Capricorn. It does not have to be the devil per se, but it can be like you're dealing with a Capricorn, okay? <clears throat> and there it is. You're feeling... Um, you know, battle wound, you know, battle worn, you're feeling like, you know, you're still persevering, but I feel like, you know, you're, I think you're, you're in protection mode away from anything that reminds you of the devil, anything that is trying to keep you stuck. Okay. Anything that is trying to, uh, have power and control over you, you're trying to keep control over your own powers. Okay, so you've got the Page of Cups. Yeah, see the Page of Cups uh, in the past, and then you've got the Ten of Cups. So for some of you, maybe, you know, this is, maybe you have, a, for a lot of you Virgos, you have a family that you're dealing with, and maybe this is a child. Okay, so lots of cups here, really needing to tap into your emotions. Um, and there's the five of swords. Yeah, Virgo, I feel like there's some type of conflict that you're going to have to overcome. And it's like for you, I almost feel like you're turning your back on conflict. You know, you're like, ah, no, no, thank you. No more. Uh, I'm done dealing with this shit. So nobody wins in this situation. And I feel like, you know, you're standing your ground. That's what I feel like. You're just standing your ground. You're protecting what's for you and your family. And that's what's most important. And anything that tries to get in the way. 
how people are seeing you is the king of wands. So you're taking action, you know, it doesn't matter male or female, people are seeing you as the king of wands. Somebody who is, you know, busting ass and like I said, busting ass and taking names, like, you know, somebody who is ready to go. I do feel like someone here is trying to offer something or wanting you to, I don't know. I feel like you're walking away from that, okay? Um, Spirit, one more card for the Virgo. And that you're showing up in your own reading, Virgo. I think that you have gained some wisdom. You're definitely ste stepping back and realizing that Spirit has a plan. Three of Wands is your overall energy. This is waiting for your ships to come in. For some of you, you are waiting for someone to come in. And for others of you, you're waiting on love to come in. There's a lot of cups here. You know, someone who's wanting to reconcile, I feel like. Maybe it has to do with this fire sign or a Capricorn. We, the only two major arcanas you have in your reading this time is the the devil and the hermit and that is you Virgo you know lighting the way for others and I did say that at the beginning of your reading there's the star so all your hopes wishes and dreams are coming true and I know that you realize that you know sometimes I feel like with the devil this is you know the devil's in the details you know and I tell people there's no such thing as the devil yes there's a such thing as the darkness but I feel like with the devil the devil is I'm not good enough I'm not smart enough I'm not pretty enough I'm not enough okay that to me is bullshit and you know that's a mindset and that's something that you need to get over um, you know for some of you I just feel like you need to realize that anything that is meant for you will never pass you by there is a final judgment call on something here I do feel like there's some type of a missed opportunity maybe where someone has walked away but I feel like somebody is wanting to come back in uh, maybe this person is looking out and seeing um, you know, looking at you because I do see them in the same cloak here. Look at that. Okay. I see them all in this red cloak. So I do feel like, you know, this could be the same person does not have to be, but I do feel like it is someone who walked away. I do see you walking away and turning your back on anything that has brought any type of conflict. If anybody has brought conflict, whether it's mental conflict, emotional conflict, uh, I do see you finally making that final judgment call to put it to rest, okay? I don't see you rebirthing this situation. I think that the final horn has been blown and you've decided no more. I'm sorry, I forgot. You do have the judgment card here. So you've got the hermit, the judgment, and the devil. So you guys are definitely, you know, turning your back on the devil. You've learned your lessons, you know, and the hermit, I feel like this is a, a week of just kind of waiting and sitting back and watching how things work out. You guys, I really do see this as a beautiful week. I'm not seeing a whole lot of money. I mean, I do see the wands here, so this could have something to do with a job, but it could also have something to do with relationships uh, and the emotions that we've put into these relationships. So Spirit, please show me the Virgo's love life for this week what messages what guidance do we have for their love life okay let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others all right for some of you I really do think that this has a lot to do with your family maybe you're you know you and a child you and your children because I see that that's what's on your mind Virgo or this could be you and you know your own family and I've been seeing that quite a bit okay the next card out is passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so maybe here you have some passion for someone that you want to tell them and maybe you haven't told them yet playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So I do see the child here, and I do see missed opportunities here. Uh, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. Listen, you're not going to get anywhere if you're just sitting still. Okay, you can't, you know, you can't get anywhere if you don't start the car. So it's like, yeah, they may be coming in very slowly, but it's like they're still going to come in. But you actually have to put one foot in front of the other and stop being, uh, you know, I feel like it's non-committal for some of you. So, I mean, just keep that in the back of your mind, you guys. Um, and I feel like, you know, your hopes, wishes and dreams are about ready to come true if you're willing to open yourself up. Uh, whatever conflict this is, I feel like you've overcome more. I feel like you're not accepting any offers at this time from certain people. And I think that you're just going to make that judgment call on your own. I feel like you're doing really good when it comes to your work and your creativity, Virgo. Uh, you're very active. I think you're kind of tired. I will tell you it is time for you to slow down, 
get some rest, take care of yourself. Otherwise, the universe is going to be, uh, it's going to make you sick. So it has no choice but to knock you down, to slow you down. Okay, so keep that in mind here. Uh, you know, for others of you, be mindful of third party relationships. We don't want to play there. Uh, you know, be, it's just not worth it, especially when I see the devil. For others of you, be careful of your addictions um, and other people's addictions and be careful of people trying to take power and control and you know people who are just trying to take things from you too Virgo use your intuition okay anyway you guys I hope you have a beautiful week and we'll chat again soon take care